Every time 71-year-old Andy Mackey draws a breath, it's music to his ears, whether there's a harmonica there or not. He's just glad to be alive. How are you still sitting here? I guess they don't need a harmonica player in heaven yet. <laughs> Andy Mackey, a Scottish-born, retired horse trainer, lives in this camper in northwest Washington state. Lives here even though technically, medically, he should have died long ago. After his ninth heart surgery, Andy's doctors had him on 15 different medicines, but the side effects made life miserable. Uh. So one day, he quit taking all 15 and decided to spend his final days doing something he always wanted to do. Go out, 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 in, in, out. Andy used the money he would have spent on the prescriptions to give away 300 harmonicas with lessons. Very good. And when he didn't die the next month, he bought a few hundred more. I just started going from school to school. It's now 11 years and 16,000 harmonicas later. He taught us a lot. He's very nice. Everybody likes him. Everybody. To keep the kids interested in music as they get older, Andy now spends the bulk of his social security check making what he calls strum sticks. He's given away thousands of these too. He also buys store-made instruments for kids who show a special interest and provides free lessons to everyone uh, Declan, give me an eight. by getting the older kids to teach the younger kids. Yeah, he's getting the hang of it. I tell him that music is a gift. You give it away. You give it away and you get to keep it forever. The end result is something truly unique to this corner of America. Seems everywhere you look, every place you go, every kid you meet has that same genuine passion for fiddle music. I can't explain the joy. I don't think Bill Gates feels any richer inside than I do. Do you think you're still living today because of the kids and the music? I, I really believe that. After that story first aired, one of our viewers gave Andy a $5,000 donation. Andy used the money to hire a part-time teacher who's now showing the kids how to make the strumsticks. The hope is they'll carry on the mission even after Andy's gone. If Andy's ever gone. Just since we met him, he's survived several more heart attacks and last week had his 10th successful heart surgery. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Chimicum, Washington.